When we talk about searching for solutions, this could be adding diversity and inclusion to your organizational values, um, using metrics to help measure diversity and inclusion efforts. Solutions could be around the HR process, where you're recruiting, how you're recruiting, um, how you're engaging employees, the on onboarding process, as well as looking at diversity and inclusion efforts for the partners in which you do business with and how to bring them along in this journey. So another one of our themes was diversity and inclusion efforts in the workplace. And this was an interesting um, outcome regarding in this theme because we had over 70% of the people felt like their organizations cared about diversity and inclusion and also felt like they invested in diversity and inclusion efforts. Pitfalls can happen in all sorts of ways. I think some of the pitfalls that can happen um, is not engaging the right people. Um, again, leadership buy-in is really important and true leadership buying, meaning they're not just saying the the, the speaking points that have been written down on their behalf, but they really authentically want to engage with employees at all level and make sure that everyone really has an opportunity to feel valued and add to the value of the organization. So I've seen that pitfall where the leaders were, aren't really engaged. Organizations often have great intentions. And because of those intentions and because so many things from, come from the top, a lot of the diversity efforts um, either uh, a lot of the diversity efforts and the declarations that a company is going to uh, is going to support and promote diversity come from the top. And so what you'll often see is then um, leadership team which is engaged and interested and aware of what the situation is. Then you have um, the individual contributors um, or people who are within their careers who are the people who are uh, who are encountering some of these challenges and they're the ones who are experiencing them. And and so and they're and they are having those conversations. They're part of those networks and they're having those discussions around uh, around their concerns and their challenges and the things and and their successes and the things they're dealing with. Um, but I think where so one of the pitfalls is that it's kind of that middle layer that, t um, that is less involved. And because of that, um, the reason that that's a challenge is that it's the middle layer that's actually impacting and affecting what the employees and what the, uh, and, and what the, um, what the, what the employees in the organization are really doing. The senior leadership can support it and they can provide guidance and they can create an example, but what is actually being experienced by the, by the majority of the organization comes from, uh, comes from the management level. And that group is not always as engaged or as involved. And so I think that's one of the biggest um, that's one of the biggest challenges is how do you take what um, how do you kind of uh, how do you kind of address that middle section so you have your senior leaders and then you have your grassroots organization um, but it really it really as I was saying before it really takes the entire organization to understand the situation um, because until there's an understanding of it there's no way to address it. It's hard work and it isn't done in a straight line and um, it, we don't know. With, with certainty what that looks like when we're there. I think it's going to be something we'll always be working toward. But I can tell you that I feel a lot smarter personally in, in how I uh, see and interact with people who come from different perspectives on a, a whole range of, of issues, not just race. And that I, I, I sense that in my coworkers as well.